Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to play America, which is the fifth song in Recorder Karate 2. As always, we're going to check out what notes we need first. Our pitches are up here. E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. Uh-oh, we don't know B flat yet, but that's okay because we're going to change that. You'll notice here at the beginning, we're checking out, we have our treble clef as always, and then there's this thing that looks kind of like a fancy B. That is called a flat, and it makes a note a little bit lower. On the piano, again, that would mean to use um, one of the black keys. Okay, and then we are in 3-4. That means that there are three quarter, uh, the, sorry, three beats per measure, quarter note gets the beat. So there we go. Next thing we're gonna do is go down here and we see there is some new information for us. Um, as a reminder, we have dotted quarter notes. Those get a beat and a half. But I know you all know this song. You know how it sounds. So this shouldn't be too hard for you as far as that's concerned. We have this thing here and it tells us that a slur means to connect notes together and not to tongue between each note. So just kind of continuing the air without doing anything here. And slurs um, make notes smoothly connected. So the difference between a tie, like an old smoky, flip back for just a second. This is a tie, it connects the same note, and it means to hold that for the combined duration. A slur like this means to play those notes smoothly connected. You'll see a lot of slurs in vocal music when you've got two notes for the same syllable as we do here. Okay, so that's saying that that needs to be smoothly connected. And then we have our new note, our B flat, so that we can play that. You'll see that B flat is a little bit different than anything we've played before. So you've got your left thumb, first and third finger, and then first finger of your right hand. And it's really important you get all of those fingers down because otherwise the note is not gonna come out in tune. So that looks like this. I've got my thumb, first finger, third finger, first finger, and it sounds like this. That's your B flat. First thing you're gonna do once you look at all that information, when you start to play the or practice the piece, remember about three quarters plus of practicing is not actually playing your recorder. If your parents are watching here with you, now you know. I know I put it in writing, but sometimes things get lost. Your children do not need to play recorder all day. I promise. So here we go. We're going to get ready to do this. We're going to speak our notes in rhythm first. It's also really, or sorry, out of rhythm first. Identify them first. It's really important to note that these are F naturals because we have the B flat and there's no F sharp here. These are F naturals. If you play F sharp, the whole song is going to sound really funky. So F natural as a reminder looks like that. Sounds like this. If you play the F sharp, the whole song will sound off. It's just not gonna be good. I wanna make sure you can name those pitches. Once you can name the pitches, then you're gonna try and speak them in rhythm. So the beginning of this would be F, F, G, E, F, G. And there we go. So that's the start of that. And then you're gonna try and do the same thing doing your recorder fingers. Beginning of that would be G, G, or sorry, F, F, G, E, F, G, and so on. And then finally, you are going to play it. I'll play it for you now. This is what it sounds like. This is America. Sorry for a little bit of flub there. This is the 14th video I've recorded this evening, so I apologize. Trying to get them all done at once so that you guys can get practicing. Um, and I think you all know this. 
if it, something sounds wrong, the problem is likely that you're playing F sharps instead of F naturals or B naturals instead of B flats. So make sure that all your Fs look like this and all your Bs look like this. And that's that. Good luck to you on America, and I hope to see you soon.